Welcome back to my channel Mathematics and today we have a really interesting quick challenge 3 and inside parentheses we have 1 plus 2 times 2. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, however many people are going to get this problem incorrect, so if you could do that without a calculator, put those calculators away and write your option down into the comment section for option, what do you think is a correct answer to this, to this challenge, okay? So first of all I want to start with this explanation. We have 3, inside parentheses we have 1 plus 2 times 2. Okay, and right now if we look closely, right here we have multiplication before this parenthesis, right here we have addition, and right here we have once more, once more multiplication. So right here we have multiplication, right here we have addition, and right here we have multiplication. So we have three mass operations, okay? Multiplication, addition, and multiplication. And what is the correct order to do this problem? Because, because we can start with this addition, we can start with this multiplication, we can start uh, simplifying this challenge from this uh, multiplication. So as you can see, a lot of combination, and obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem, okay? And for this question, let's look, for example, at this PEMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to this PEMDAS order of operation. And right now let's solve this question according to this PEMDAS order of operation. So we have three, inside parentheses we have, we have one plus two times 2. Okay? Okay. So right here we have parentheses, we have multiplication, addition, yes, over here we have a lot of elements. And mm, how does this PEMDAS work? This PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom, so in a strict order from the top to the bottom, so the first step is parentheses, then we should evaluate the expression without with exponents, yeah, maybe 2 squares, 3 squares, yeah, then multiplication division group, addition subtraction group is our last, last step. Okay, so right now, how can we deal with this with this challenge? First of all, we should scan what elements do we have at first, because the first element is parentheses. So let's scan where do we have these parentheses? Okay, so let's look at it right here. Yeah, we have parentheses right here. So this is our first step, because every time you should simplify the expression inside parentheses, because parentheses has the highest priority. Okay, okay. So right here, let's look at it. 1 plus 2 times 2. Okay, what we should do at first, addition or multiplication? If you don't know what, what, we, what we should do, we should uh, look at this PEMDAS order of operation. Addition and multiplication, where do we have these, mm, these elements? Uh, multiplication we have right here, and addition we have right here. And as I told before, we have the higher priority on the top, the lower priority on the bottom. So we should start from this multiplication at first. So it looks like first step is to find parentheses. Inside parentheses we have multiplication addition, so the second step is multiplication, and the third step is, is addition, okay? Let's do this. So 3, inside parentheses we have 1 plus 2 times 2, okay? So we have 1 plus, as I told before, multiplication first, we have 4, okay? Equal to and addition. And this is a very basic addition. Yeah, right here we have 1 plus 4 inside parentheses, which gives us 5. So we have 3 times inside parentheses, we have 5. Obviously, we don't need these parentheses right here because uh, this is like one constant. We don't have complicated expression, so we can easily cancel these parentheses. So our answer is, is 15. Okay, and let's find the option right here. Oh, we don't have this option. Yeah, we don't have this option A, B, C, and D. And uh, how it looks like right here, it looks like option 15 is incorrect on the first side. Yeah, because we don't have this option. But let's check it once more. Okay, so right here, parentheses first, multiplication, then addition. Yeah, we saw this absolutely correct, but it happens we don't have this option. So it looks like mistaken this test right here, so maybe uh, right here should be 15, yeah, I don't know exactly, but 15 is a correct answer, it happens sometimes, you can see a little bit mistake in this, in this challenge, so answer, answer right here, correct answer is 15, but let's, let's check it once more, okay? So right here we don't have exponent, we don't have addition, we don't have division, sorry, we don't have subtraction, yeah, we have parenthesis first, yeah, at first parenthesis, then multiplication, 2 times 2 gives us gives us 4, 4 plus 1 gives us 5, yeah, 15 is the correct answer, as you can see, mistake in this, in this test, so it happens sometime, but don't feel bad if you got this wrong, uh, 15 is a correct answer, so I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, if you need help with any of the classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, so with that being said, see you in the next videos, have a great day, and take care! Also, thank you for your time, thank you for your support, and if this video is helpful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe, and that definitely helped me out now for this particular video. So, see you in the next videos!